So let's go ahead and get into a best accessories for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, whether you have yours and you're enjoying your phone or if you have yours on order and you're trying to wait for that natural titanium. I feel you because I want to change the color on mine a little bit. We got a little bit of accessories out there so you can be prepared for your phone's arrival if you already got it. Everything that I talk about will be linked down below. So if you like something, if you already use one of these devices, let me know in the comment section down below. That'll reassure people who are watching this video that they're making a good purchase. Now, before we get started, I do want to give a huge shout out to ESR for sponsoring this video because I've been using their stuff for years now and they have made some nice updated changes to some of their products, especially when it comes to two-in-one, three-in-ones, travel chargers, and that's exactly what we have on deck today. And we're starting off with the first one. It's gonna be their Halo Lock 3-in-1 MagSafe Stand. Now this right here is one that I've had for a while now. They sent me one, but I actually bought this a while ago and I've been using it. My girlfriend has been using it on her side of the bed. And this is always one of her easiest ones. She likes, she's not a tech person, but when she gets something, I like to keep her updated with the three-in-ones. She's like, I like this one, it's, it's just easy. I can just, everything is, has its own place. So let's go ahead and run through it now. When you see it here, this is gonna be the white variant. They also come with a black variant as well. And in the packaging, I always gotta make this be known because some of them out there, you got a lot of companies that have three-in-ones, two-in-ones, they don't really give you what you need out the box. ESR is giving you everything that you need. They're giving you a USB-C to C cable and they're giving you a 20 watt power adapter. So you're good. You don't gotta go out there and try to scramble and figure out what accessories work for it. You got everything that they include. Now let's go talk about the actual unit itself. Down here, you're gonna have a little wireless pad for your AirPods. So if, of course, if your AirPods are wireless charging compatible, you can put them up there, be just fine. That pad works just fine. As always, as always you're gonna get your little MagSafe ring right here for your phone, your Halo Lock, and on the backside, which we gotta talk a little bit about this, this is gonna be your Apple Watch station, if you wanna call it. But let's talk about that a little bit more. So this right here is gonna be a USB-C to C adapter, nothing you have to purchase separately calling out some of y'all out there, man. This already comes up in the packaging. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The unique thing about this, it is gonna be Apple certified, so it's gonna be able to give you those charging speeds, especially when it comes to your Apple Watch. But this thing right here serves as a to-go charger. So if you leave out the house, and you know how you have your phone, and you, your phone didn't really top it up, but sometimes you can't do that about that Apple Watch you forgot to charge. This is what this is used for. You can basically plug this into anything that's gonna give off USB-C power, and take this on the go with you, whether you plug it up directly to a, a power adapter, you're plugging it up to a MacBook or your, it doesn't matter. Plug this up and you're good to go. It does have a little cap so you can put the cap on when you're not using it. And this is gonna be magnetic. So at the back of it, you can pop it right there when you are using it. But I like to just use mine on my three in one charger, plug it in there via type C and you're good to go. You already know the unit itself is gonna be type C. Let's go ahead and plug it in so I can kind of demonstrate you everything that's going on. You're gonna get a little light that's gonna pop on right here. And that light will be illuminated when you go to bed at night, but it's gonna be a nice dim light that's not gonna to interrupt your sleep pattern. So let's go ahead and pop all my, my units up here, all of my products, so you can see what it's working with. And the first thing we're gonna do, pop those AirPods up there. If you didn't hear me running my trap, you hear the chime to let me know that the AirPods are there and it's charging. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and pop our phone up there. Now, like I said, you can either go with it your standard way, you can charge like this, or if you want to, you can go ahead and rotate it, and then it's gonna be able to begin that standby mode, as you can see right here. Like I told you, man, I'm a fan of the standby mode. You can see it there, and you definitely can see it over here if that glare isn't, isn't knocking you out. But standby mode, and that's what you get when it comes to this charge. Now, sliding it back over here to the top angle, let's go ahead and pop our Apple Watch up here, which is, this is the Apple Watch Ultra 2, by the way. Let's go ahead and pop that up there, and that's gonna begin charging as well. And this is how you have it fully set up. All three of your devices are charging. Everything has nice space. Nothing is too crimped. And you're good to go when it comes to charging all three of your devices. I like this, man, because you can pull your phone off. It's not interfering with anything, whether you have it in landscape, whether you have it in portrait mode. Your AirPods down have enough space, and your Apple Watch has its own area as well. I think this is just a very nice three-in-one charging station, and it's not going to break you because this thing here is sitting at $64.99. So go out there and grab one. I think ESR absolutely knocked it out the park, and definitely we will be talking a little more about their products in future videos because they got a few others that they sent to me that we definitely going to talk about. Now, I don't know about you, but I love traveling. And one thing that I've really been finding useful is that when you have all-in-one travel packages, all-in-one travel solutions, what I mean, you have your iPhone, your AirPods, and your Apple Watch, you need ways to travel all three of those devices when you're out traveling. And ESR has came out with a travel adapter set. Now, I don't know if this is new or if this is old, but I'm glad I got my hands on it because I'm really feeling this. I was using a previous one from another company. They discontinued it, and now it was leaving me with egg on my face trying to figure out what I'm going to do for my traveling solution and ESR just solved them, all right? So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And this is gonna be a nice little 
leather-ish material. I'm not really sure what you want to call this material, but I'm liking it. I'm feeling it. It works just fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Pop in the open, and it's going to give you everything. It's going to give you everything that you need to charge your devices up. And this is what I'm talking about, man. People just need to... Thank you, ESR, for doing something like this. So let's just go ahead and take everything out. As you can see here, everything that you need to charge up all of your devices has its own nice little small compartment to make it very easy. The first thing you're going to get is going to be your power adapter. Let's set that here. And then we're going to get a Type-C to C cable. You don't got to go fumbling around with it because they're already going to give you one included. Here is going to give you that same puck that we just finished talking about. Just like I told you, they have a black variant. This is probably what that is from. This is going to be the black variant. This is going to be the Apple Watch charger there. And you're going to get your actual base itself. And we'll show you how this plugs in. And it was loud as I don't know what right there. And you get a very nice packaging. I mean, you get a very nice little carrying pouch. This is going to be magnetic. Perfect. Throw this in your bag and you're good to go. Let's go ahead and put that down to the side though. Now let's go ahead and show you how this basically works. This right here is going to be where everything kind of happens. This is your center stone of this whole travel pack. You're going to get your MagSafe puck right here for your phone. You're going to get that little square over here for your AirPods and you're going to get this little type C insert for your Apple watch. So of course this is powered by USB-C, USB all the same, all the things. Thank you, Apple, or I don't know, thank you, EU, whoever decided to do it first. But let's just go ahead and do it, and then we're going to take the actual Apple Watch puck, and we're going to plug this in, make sure it's all down in there, and that's good. It actually gives a little ledge right here to make sure your phone, your watch, makes good contact with the charger. Those small attention to details. So let's go ahead and put these to the side, because assuming you already have a Type-C cable and everything plugged up, first things first, let's go ahead and grab our AirPods. Let's slide the AirPods right here. You're going to hear that chime. Let's get my Apple Watch again. I'm not sure why I... Put my Apple Watch back on, knowing we're going to do this charger. And let's go ahead and pop the Apple Watch on. Doesn't matter what type of band style that you have, your watch, as you can see, hopefully you can kind of see it in there. It is charging as well. And last but not least, let's go ahead and turn it around so you'll definitely be able to see it on this charger. You can pop that phone on here and once again, enjoy that standby mode when you're traveling. So not only can you look at it while you're home, Look at it while you're traveling, man, because it's just an all. So this is just a nice all-in-one, three-in-one traveling solution, just clean. Once again, the things are a little tight when it comes to it because it's a travel adapter. You're not going to be using this every single day. You use this when you're on the road, when you're traveling, when you're traveling for work, traveling for personal, traveling, however you do it. This is what it is used for. And then when you're done, you just take it all apart. And let me get the actual pack down here because I threw it, threw it down. And when this is all done, you take all your stuff off, all right? You take your Apple Watch charging portion, you put it back. And then you're going to just slide it back in this little dedicated space. You're going to slide your power adapter right here in this little dedicated space. My, my Type-C cable went flying over here, but then you're going to get that. Store it back in this location. You unplug that Type-C. Put it back right where in this home. And then you're going to put that in there. Slide that back in. And guess what? There you go. And as long as the cable was in there all the way. Nice and easy when it comes to your traveling solution. So ESR, not that department, man. Go out there and pick one of these up. Amazon, you can get it fairly quick. If you got a trip coming up, 70 bucks. But I feel like it's worth it when you're talking about having to be able to charge all three of your devices in one little system. Now, staying on accessories, you know that I got to talk about cases. You know I got to talk about them. In this case right here, I feel like it's some of the best bang for your buck. If you're not new to the channel, if you're a channel OG, you've already seen this case before. And let's go ahead and talk about the Binx Armor Pro. Now, I know we're not going to get into a dedicated review. I know some of you even out there are like, T, wait a minute. Now, you're supposed to be doing dedicated review. I got y'all. Just calm down. But I feel like this case right here is one of the best bang for your buck cases on the market because the quality that you're getting, let's just go ahead and say it. You can get this case for around 30 ish mid 30 bucks and for what you're getting that i'm about to run through real fast you really can't beat it on the market so the first thing this is going to be your kevlar style case as you can see right here you're going to get that nice kevlar feel you're going to actually feel those fibers feel those weaves on the back you're going to get that metallic ring that's going to go around your camera and your cameras are protected you're going to get very nice metallic buttons some of the best buttons on the market when it comes to phone cases volume up and down everything is tactile and when it comes to the action button they didn't drop the ball they put that button there for your action button a lot of companies out here dropping the ball this year Get on board, get it on board and make it right through your customers when you get that fix out there. Other than that, nice case, very strong fit all around. Very rigid, doesn't have any flimsy, floppy corners or anything like that. When the phone is popped in, it's popped in very good. And you have a nice little lip for lay on table protection. Not anything heavy duty. You know, this is just middle ground type protection. But then when it comes to those magnets, you do have a nice magnet, which I feel like is very strong for doing what you need to do. I had this version last year. The magnet seemed a little bit stronger this time, but maybe it's the added weight they included, especially with the button and the camera ring. 
could be something like that. But the Binx Armor Pro, I do a top 10 video. I do multiple top 10 videos throughout the year. And my recent champ was, uh, this was my recent number one case. So don't be surprised if you see that top 10 video again and you see this in top three, top five, top three, top two, or maybe even the number one case because it is very solid. And I do think regardless of everything else, how much I like this case, I do feel like it's one of the best bang for your buck cases on the market. Now, staying right along with Apple products, actually one I just think I just picked these bad boys up, but it doesn't matter. The only reason I picked these new AirPods up because I'm a type C junkie and I need everything type C. So this is going to be the AirPod Pro Gen 2s with type C. So I got a, another pair of Gen 2s that's over there that works just perfectly fine. But if you got an iPhone, man, you need to have your AirPods because that's just a staple. You just got to make that relationship just come together, man. And I love AirPods. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there, you probably already have these. These are new. But for somebody out there maybe just switching over to iPhone, you might need to know about these things, man. They just keep adding features that I feel like just keep setting the market further and further away from actual AirPods. Now, I know there are tons of earbuds that you can get out there on the market, but when they came out with that conversation awareness, and that's basically when you pop both of these airpods in you're talking to somebody your airpod level lows it lowers and then when you're done talking it goes back up i'm mind blown i saw that and i was like i don't know if anybody else is doing it i could be super late to this so don't chop my head off in the comments but i think that's just a very nice feature on top of the transparency mode which is one of the best out there on top of the great noise cancellation already on top of this and the battery charging max safe compatible case just get your pair of AirPods. It only makes sense when you have your iPhone. Just let that whole thing just happen, okay? Get your pair of AirPods. Got an iPhone, get yourself an AirPods. Doesn't matter which ones. You may not want to go for the pros. If you want to, you know, take it a step further, you may not need all these pro features. Trust me, they're still going to be just fine. But just AirPods just match so well with the interface on your phone. Just, just let it happen. Now, of course, Type-C, Type-C, all the things. Some of you trying to replace those old lightning cables and go ahead and get those USB-C cables up in the building. The one that I had to showcase, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and give them a little bone that you need to know. All right, this is gonna be the Kevlar Nomad USB-C to C cable. Now, this isn't this particular one, but I have one in my car that I know I've had for over three years. And it still looks just what? Just like this cable right here. When you're talking about that Kevlar material, this isn't gonna be in that sorry Amazon stuff that's just rubber that's gonna fray. No, that's not happening when it comes to these Nomad cables. You're gonna get a very nice little loop right here that's gonna be able to keep it all together if you wanna travel with it. This is gonna be three meters. This is gonna run you 35 bucks, but if you don't need one this long, it gets cheaper. It has like two, that's like 30, and then like a half a meter, that's like 25 or something like that. So you may not need all of this, but if you do and you want a nice quality type C cable that's gonna last, you wanna keep rebinding these cables, buy once, don't buy a lot of times. Go out there and get yourself a Nomad Type-C cable. It's going to handle everything that you need to handle when it comes to the speeds, everything like that. It's just a, a solid cable, and I cannot recommend it enough. It's one of my go-to cables. I have these all around the house, along with a few others that's braided and nice. But when you're talking about Kevlar, yeah, Nomad's going to be top of the food chain with that. Now, you need something to plug that Type-C cable in because we know Apple doesn't really give us any chargers in the box. And one that I've really been using a lot lately is going to be the Spigen 35-watt GAN charger. Now, this is going to be simple and easy. Nothing to really talk through a lot. 35 watts, you're going to have your prones. Now, they don't fold in. I like to travel with this thing sometimes as an extra charger, whether I got to just charge something else up. You know, iPad, AirPod Maxes, something like that. Yeah, they got those lightning. AirPod Maxes, make a Type-C version. But it, I just like this because you have two ports. 35 watt, fast enough for what I need to do. Small, compact, slide in the bag. You really can't beat it. Speaking, known product, trusted over years for their products when it comes to cases, accessories, chargers. I have so many of these, whether it's not even a GAN one, but speaking chargers in a whole, they're just, they're just great. You know what I mean? So this is just quick and easy. You're looking for a little charger. You want a little backup charger to throw in your bag, take to work. Go ahead and pick up the speaking GAN charger. It's going to get the job done. Trust me. And it charges fast. I feel like it charges faster than 35 watts. Last up, let's go ahead and talk about two MagSafe accessories. You know, one thing that I love talking about on this channel is going to be MagSafe battery packs, wireless battery packs. And I got to talk about the new Anchor 633. Well, not new. This is going to be the updated version of the Anchor 633. And the reason why I love this is going to, you're going to get a two-in-one function. You're going to get a battery pack, of course, when it comes to this. This is going to be the 5,000 milliamp hours. No, it's no, not going to charge the phone from zero to 100, but you can get the zero to 70-ish percent, 80 percent on a good day. If the wind is blowing right, you can get the 80 percent. And it's going to be MagSafe. It's going to be Anchor. It's going to come in a few different colors. This is going to run you 50 bucks over on Amazon. You can get this, get it fast. And it's just clean. You're going to get a type c port over here on the side you're going to get a little kickstand so if you want to pop it up and charge your device and let's see if it's going to work in that portrait mode that landscape mode as well so you can activate that let me see where's that where's that standby mode is the standby mode is it not flipping it up hard enough 
for the standby mode? Do I got to tip it up a little bit for it to activate that standby? The angle wasn't right. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. It ain't working all the way like it's supposed to, but it doesn't matter about that. When it comes to this right here, 5,000 milliamp hours, it's not going to heat up like the old version of the 633. I know some of you may be like, T, you thought, I thought you said they heat up. This is the updated version. They did some things inside. They kind of reworked some robotic materials on the inside, so it's not, it doesn't heat up as much. Trust me, it's actually pretty good now. Fairly thin, throw it in your pocket, pop it on your phone, and just give your phone that extra bit of juice when you actually want it. If you want to speed things up, you can always go Type-C to Type-C straight into your iPhone. Never thought I'll say that to this day, Type-C to Type-C. But you can do it, man. So this is Anchor. I mean, they're, they're tried and true with all their products. You've seen me review their 3-in-1s, 2-in-1s. The Anchor 633, I never recommended it before really, but this new updated version with a better heat management, they moved the Type-C port right here. Everything is good. Pass-through charger so you can charge both your phone and up at the same time and your battery pack. You leave it by the door, both will be charged up. You can't go wrong with the Anchor 633. It's like one of the staples, one of the OGs when it comes to MagSafe battery packs. Last but not least, this is definitely not a stranger to the channel, man. I, I, I love it. I still love this thing and I have been using this thing and it has held up so good over time. This is going to be the Peak Design MagSafe wallet stand. Now, if you know anything about Peak Design or this wallet stand, it's got like a nylon material. Now, I thought this was going to really break down over the months, but I've had this thing for a while. You've seen this on Best Accessories video for the 14 Pro Max, and it still looks good. It still holds a bunch of cards. You put your cards in there. These are fake. Don't try to dox me. I'm not trying to dox myself. These are fake. Slide the cards out. Put them up in here. Put that little magnetic strap down. Strap it on the back of your phone. And with that, it's going to serve as a little kickstand. So if you're like me and you forget to go to dinner with your son's iPad, and he needs to use your phone for an iPad, you can actually charge, you know, well, it's not charging. You can actually put the wallet on. You don't have to have an extra wallet in your pocket. But if you want to just have this as a, I slammed that down pretty hard, right? <laughs> if you want to just use it as a wallet itself, you can do that and it's just fine, which I have done for a long period of time is use this as a wallet without even using the MagSafe function about it. Just use it as a wallet, as a kickstand. If you got to, you can whip it out and you just whip it out. I, I know, I know y'all comments so y'all dirty man but yeah you can put that on and you're good to go so it's like a dual purpose use it as a wallet but in in the means in a pinch you can pop your iphone up as well and it's going to hold a bunch of cars i mean right here i have i mean let's see one two three four five six that's seven cars a lot of you don't even hold like three cards so it's more than enough of what you need put them in there slide it down pop that magnetic flap up there and you're good to go. But that's it, man. That's going to be all the accessories that I'm going to showcase in this video. You know we got plenty other accessory videos coming up. Once again, shout out to ESR, man. Definitely check them out with the links down below. Hopefully something that I talked about piques your interest and you went out there and placed an order. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. But until then, man, catch y'all on the next video. Hit that sub button, man. We're trying to get that 100K. Help your boy out. Later.